Okay, so it was a very, very, very productive day. We were outside, it was hot and sunny, and we were out doing all sorts of things. You wanna come, you wanna sit with me? So we were outside doing a lot of things. We had to move chickens, we got that done. Got them onto a fresh area of the pasture. Marie, that's mostly her deal, but we were just helping out. Come on girls, you can do it! Moved sheep, moved the steer and the horses. So it was super productive, but now it's time to come up with a dinner plan. And I today was one of those days where I didn't plan ahead. I just knew I needed to use whatever we had in the house and throw something together. So what are we gonna make? Crepes. Crepes. Crepes are a huge favorite around here. We actually have a full video with a full recipe and all of that if you want to learn how to make our crepes, which are so good. If you want to learn how to make them, we can link that video here. You can go check that out. Or if you just want to relax and hang out with us while we throw dinner together very quickly, then stick around and yeah, let's get dinner started. Yep. You gonna help? Yes. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. push it up. Just push and twist. Boom. Five. Done. Okay. Okay. One of the things I love about this recipe is how simple it is. It's flour, powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, butter, milk, eggs, vanilla. Done. The only thing that takes time is the making of the crepes, but once you kind of figured out, figure that out, it's, it's pretty easy and self-explanatory. So, all right, let's fill this up. this whole we get raw milk from the farm we used to have our own if you're new here we used to have our own dairy cows but we had to sell them and lay that down for a little while because of the season of life that we were in but we go to the the raw milk farm um, actually have friends who are going for us right now they go every two weeks and at the end of the two weeks I would say that the milk starts to get a little sour totally fine that's the beautiful thing about raw milk it's not like it ever goes bad it just sours and continues to sour and that's when it's perfect to make sour cream or to make a uh, cheese or butter or any of those things and one of the our favorite ways to use that milk when it starts to sour because I just got my new milk yesterday so I need to use up this whole half gallon is making crepes <laughs> because our recipe the original recipe which is Aunt Severine's recipe so hello Aunt Severine calls for uh, two cups of milk but we triple this for our family of eight because we love crepes and my kids love having a few extra crepes left over for an easy breakfast for the next few days so this recipe calls for six cups of milk it's a perfect way to use up some of that milk that's beginning to sour it gives amazing flavor kind of like if you were making sourdough crepes so all right tabs let's get started can you give me the cup I know you worked so hard on this, but I'm gonna move this so that you can have good, easy access to the bowl. Can you do this without, can you do this without losing track? Six cups of flour. Did you pour three or you poured two? I poured three. Is okay, she, yeah. Marie's our, <laughs> Marie, not only is she our videographer, she's also our keeper tracker of the of the flower. <laughs> okay, last one. Okay. Do you want to try to give it a shot and put that attachment back on? I gotta find it. You did it! <laughs> okay. We need uh, the tablespoon. And really, worst case scenario, if you got a little extra sugar in there. I mean, who's gonna Alright. I need you to cut me, um, get me a whole stick of butter in one of our little Pyrex dishes and go ahead and melt it for me. Because it's a pinch of salt and mommy likes even sweet things to be kind of tempered with some savory. What a half teaspoon. Don't tell Julie. She's the queen of improvising recipes, so I am allowed to improvise her recipe. Right. <laughs> Her flour is going to start coming out the side. And then I need that back because so I have to put two more cups in there. The flour is going down. That's fine. Here. Now the milk is going to overflow. It's okay. It'll mix. I don't think it's going to mix. Okay. Ten. Cool. 
well. You like it? You have a big mixing uh, KitchenAid. If you're watching, feel free to send me the next size up. Just kidding. <laughs> I'd like party size um, banana. Party size <laughs> banana bread. <laughs> we need party size KitchenAid. Yeah. Julianne said she's gonna make the crepes for me. I will clear the dishwasher, and then we'll have this area where you can wash and chop the strawberries. And then we need to make homemade whipped cream because, of course, you need homemade whipped cream. Julianne, I need my professional crepe maker. Okay. So while Marie had set up, you know, a time lapse on the strawberries there. <laughs> There was like literally, let's see, one, two, three. There's there's four people in the kitchen right now. And William and Jesse were all in here, in here. And I would say, that's pretty normal. Wouldn't you say, Julianne, like, it seems like when one person's in the kitchen, everybody wants to be in the kitchen. We try to avoid it because it's so hard to work, especially when we I'm do. throwing around the hot pans. So but it still happens. Usually I'll say to you, I'll be like, do you want me in here or do you want me to leave? Yeah. <laughs> like, do you, do you want me to help you do something or would it be better if I yeah. leave? I love yeah. that Tabitha wants to be in the kitchen helping. She's definitely stepping into that role of wanting to help, which is awesome. And she's becoming very helpful. But yeah, when it's a lot of people all at once, it does get a little tricky, but that, that doesn't mean I would change it for any reason. We'll still, we're still thankful for a small kitchen and thankful for many hands, so. bucket list items would be to eat crepes while in France. Yes. So probably I want to eat many things in France. <laughs> all, the things. all the things. All the things. <laughs> that are Italy or other places too. Because you've been making these at home for a long time. Your aunt is from France. Mm -hmm. Gave us this recipe. days like today I don't feel like making a huge mess on the stove top so I just uh, cooked the bacon in the in the oven so I heated up my house but hopefully it'll cool down soon but okay we've got the crepes crepes check strawberries check powdered sugar check bacon check and we need the whipped cream let's do that strawberry 
crepes simply because my friend was asking me some questions about how we do our crepes and I was and it was just like power of suggestion I was like we got to do strawberry crepes but we love making like caramelized peaches and putting those in the crepes our homemade oh I should have made them <laughs> Marie told me I should have made it but the homemade maple caramel over the top is so good Nutella yes I know Nutella is not healthy yes we still put it on our crepes so Nutella and um, bananas on there, there's, they're all so good. Any fruit pretty much can work. But tonight we're doing strawberries, whipped cream, a little bit of powdered sugar, pure maple syrup, bacon, and it is time to call the troops. So let's get dinner started. Mm -hmm. 